is one of the best facilities in the town of Gateshead. This is a place that transformed my life when I was growing up. I'm genuinely shocked. I'm really saddened for my hometown. The tactics that, that the government do, making it look like they're doing something, but really they, they're not doing actually anything. Council didn't help us. Council were more interested in looking after the drug dealers. really closely with some local campaign groups who've been trying to do the same thing that we have and, and save those those leisure centres. And the reporting's been like like really critical to that and, and given the campaign so much more impetus. And what we were able to do was pressure the council so that rather than the leisure centres being closed down in February, the council found a bit of extra money to keep them going until the end of July. One or two problems with drug dealers in the past, and it's taken between what four or five years to get them out because they were causing mayhem. It really kicked off last August when this guy, who was a complete nightmare for everybody involved, moved in, was shooting his air rifle at people, threatening people with machetes in the streets, and people were just living in fear. We took it to area panel where we aired our views. And it was picked up by our local democracy reporter. And it was then flooded across the Argus, at Brighton and Hove, News and other places. And suddenly the council realised it was in a bit of a hole. These people, because I've built up years of trust, they were willing to talk to me and knew that I would tell their story. It's so grateful that um, it was put to the public just what the council had been doing to this beautiful area. <music> My name's Timmy Galloway. I'm the lead campaigner for Care Experience to be a protected characteristic. I was sat in that council uh, chamber and resigned to it being the first council in the United Kingdom to vote the motion down. Being in the job that I am, I sort of understand how councils work and the sort of relationships give him advice really on how to, to approach different local authorities. It's helped the campaign immensely. It's true, honest reporting. It's kind of not sensationalism. There's had real impact. And since then, it's, it's almost been like a, a wildfire. And his ultimate aim is to you know, enshrine this in law at a national level. The LDRs right across the country, they have really been contributing to this and, and they, again, they've got the same ethos. We've now managed to get the place clean. Okay, we've still got one or two drug dealers, but they know we're watching them and they, they're behaving themselves. Mm -hmm.